First of Feb, 2021. There's any place about. <coughs> really high tides. Must be a spring. I didn't really check whether it's a spring today. I think it possibly is. I know the tides were building, but it could be. Uh, be a big one, so we might be drifting at a fair old pace. We will see. So the, the wrecks kind of behind me right now, um, lying just west of me. So I've got a marker for it out there. You can see that. So I know that whenever, rather than keep looking at the sounder, I know that as long as I'm to the, that's to my right, and about, I don't know. 30 metres to my right, I'm going to drift right over the wreck every time. I don't want to stick that right on the wreck because I'm going to get tangled in it. Um, so, you know, when you're when you're drifting wrecks, it's, it's ideal just to have it either north or south of the wreck or east or west, whichever way you want to do it, um, and just paddle up to it and then drop back, or paddle near it and drop back. There. I haven't got my tape measure. <laughs> I guess it's about that big. Let's have a go at him. Oof. There we go. Well, at least we caught something.
water now is about 100 centimetres that one. Got a fish on here. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a pout. Might be though. You never know, these pout go quite well. This, I've only got eight pound braid on this, so I need to be a bit, a bit careful. I don't know what it is. It's quite mad that. I don't think it's a pout. Seems uh, seems too punchy for a pout. What is that? Oh, it's one of them. <laughs> Trying to get back down. That's not a bad one. That's only a little one. But it is a cod. Come on, let's have it. I just love these fish. They are awesome. All right, it's going to be dinner. I've, uh, I've drifted through a couple of times on this wreck and I've had I've had one codling um, and I'm sure I'm sure I've had others on but the rod I'm using is so soft it just like gets pulled over and then they just spit the bait um, so I've anchored up tied a bit the wreck's kind of probably 20 meters over that way so up tied I'm up tied and slightly south of it I've just caught a small pout, so he's going on as live bait, um, and we'll drop it down, we'll see what happens. He's a sort of nice size pout for live bait for cod, so he's going down, we'll see what's down there. On a panel, hopefully if there's any decent cod down there, or bass. They'll just engulf that, no problem. Absolutely no problem at all. Nice long flow and trace. 25 pound fluorocarbon. What's not to like? So that is going yeah. down. the kind of sound we want. The fish takes off for that live bait. We'll see. So while uh, you know, I'm bait fishing, baits are down tied that way, I can sort of, the wreck's over there, so I position myself nicely that I can sort of cast that way, a little drift down to the wreck and then I can slowly eke it back. And you never know, do you? Have I got a fish or I'm snagged? Snagged. So on the other rod, I've just got a couple of uh, black lugs on a panel. I know there's coddling down there. Probably get, that's probably going to get hit by the um, pout before the coddling gets to it, but you never know. So, uh, it was slightly off the wreck, so hopefully that will help as well. Whoa!
No power about it. So we're paddling back in now. Um, Tubbing a lure as we go. You never know. Seems to be a lot of fish on the sounder. Just popping up now and again. Don't know what they are. But I'll tow a lure all the way back to uh, Shoreham Harbour and then we'll see, see if we get anything. Catch you later.